So good morning, welcome to this prayer during the day for Passion Tide. Apologies for the slightly late start, and um, we're normally trying to aim to do this at nine o'clock in the morning, but I couldn't get um, FaceTime Live to work on my other computer. I'll work on that uh, for later. So I'm using the Time to Pray app, um, which you can download to your smartphone or tablet, or you can go to the Church of England's common worship page uh, for prayer during the day. This is prayer during the day for Passion Tide, which is the part of the church year that runs from um, the fifth Sunday of Lent through Holy Week to Easter. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. My trust is in you, O Lord. I have said, you are my God. A prayer of praise. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We glory in your cross, O Lord, and praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For by virtue of the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Psalm 43 Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and wicked. For you are the God of my refuge. Why have you cast me from you? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? O oh, send out your light and your truth that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling, that I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness. And on the lyre I will give thanks to you, O oh God my God. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Bible reading for this Monday in Passion Tide from Mark chapter 8. Jesus began to teach his disciples that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. He said all this quite openly and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. For you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. Keep a moment of stillness to reflect on those words. response. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Come now to a time of prayer of intercession. The response to the bidding, Lord we come to the cross, is in your mercy hear us. Lord, we come to the cross. 
in your mercy hear us. With faith and love and in union with Christ let us offer our prayer before the throne of grace. Have mercy on your people for whom your Son laid down his life. Lord, we come to the cross. In your mercy, hear us. Bring healing and wholeness to people and nations and have pity on those torn apart by division. Lord, we come to the cross. In your mercy, hear us. Strengthen all who are persecuted for your name's sake and deliver them from evil. Lord, we come to the cross. In your mercy, hear us. Look in mercy upon all who suffer and hear those who cry out in pain and desolation. Lord, we come to the cross. In your mercy, hear us. Bring comfort to the dying and gladden their hearts with the vision of your glory. Lord, we come to the cross. In your mercy, hear us. Give rest to the departed and bring them with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, we come to the cross. In your mercy, hear us. Let us commend the world for which Christ died to the mercy and protection of God. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ our Saviour give us peace. Amen. Night prayer will be at 8pm this evening.